Schönen guten Tag, ihr ostwestfälischen Kampfmaschinen. Willkommen zurück zu FIFA 19. Seid ihr bereit fürs nächste Heimspiel? Unsere Arminia gegen den SC Freiburg. Viel Spaß dabei. Well, you recognize him, I know. But he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league. And it's live. Martin Tyler here with you as usual. And delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. And today it's Armenia Bielefeld. We'll play Freiburg. Armenia Bielefeld and show that they're made of the right stuff here under the watchful eye of Alan Smith. The confidence and belief in this side must be really high after the start they've made. I know it's early days, but we all thought they'd be languishing towards the bottom and relegation candidates. It's not turned out that way. Really anticipating something special from him here today. He's got to be full of confidence. He was banging them in for fun in his last game. team lineup. So Alan 4-4-2. Yeah I think it looks that way Martin yes it's the conventional shape it's the one that the manager prefers. Freiburg a check on their starters for you. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required i think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield what we've been waiting for the kick off the game is underway he's aimed for the far post here reflect that the supporters are going crazy it's a terrific moment for the team that goal really takes your breath away the defenders seem to lose the concentration almost they saw it coming from a long way out well, here's the goal again the scoring 1-0 here well he makes that transition happen quickly set himself here in the post defended well chance for the cross gets his cross in he worked hard to get the cross in but it didn't reach any of his teammates arriving in the middle that's a turnover in play 
anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. An incisive pass. Referee is pointed to the spot. Whoa, that might change the complexion of this match. He has produced the red card. Straight away, you knew he'd made up his mind, went for the pocket, no arguments. There's some movement in the dugout. Going to get a change here. Great penalty. He's taken on the responsibility and uh, a happy outcome for him. The way he walked up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. really to play the ball straight to the opposition shots on here the ball's loose goalkeeper made the save but he couldn't hold it it'll be a throw no nonsense clearance from the defender between them and the goal but they still got the ball offside given Allen oh I'm not sure he's got that one right you know I think he was on behind them I think it'll be tough for the visitors Pedersen played forward a bit of menace in this attack whipped in from the wide area good clearance trying a bit too hard trying to force the pass and it went to, straight to an opponent keep the ball here under some pressure and that will be a throw turnover there that we didn't expect Bed. Quick into the tackle, and the result is going to be a throw. Alabed. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. They might have played him in here. And here's the shot. Charge down. Good clearing header. Well, he's tried his shot from long right. Praise for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy.
Two tough guys going for it. That looked dangerous until he made the interception. Sure, the pass wasn't completed. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. That's out, this will be a throw. Christensen. Gonna try his luck. They score. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper, but in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic and feels he should have done better. this such a one-sided affair but look at the scoreline could have got through there but the defender is absolutely on top of his game Yoda can really get at the opposition here looking for teammates in the middle he's gone for the volley and it nearly paid off yeah really good technique there known for that kind of volley It's a very good interception. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Terrific play on the ball. Oh, lovely clean feet in a confined space. You could watch that over and over. Yoda. Guiding it through. A well read by the goalkeeper. They do hate being chipped, keepers, don't they? <laughs> they do, and he did anticipate it and uh, collected it comfortably in the end. It goes out wide again. Just working away to try and find an opening. Came in with the challenge, and the ball broke free. Shots on here. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save keeps the ball in his grasp. Neatly intercepted. Alabed. Pedersen. Should really deliver from this position. With the defender in the way. Maybe the counter-attack is on here. Got the ball back by that interception. Pedersen. Possession given away once more. Yoda. Slipping it through. Oh, he's gone for the chip. Cheeky. Tried to chip the keeper, cheeky. Yeah, did the first bit right, get it over the keeper, but just too much on it. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Oh, he's been on fire out there, and it was a good penalty from him, and very nearly adding the second, but hitting the woodwork. What we've been waiting for kick off the game is underway he's aimed for the far post here 
they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. Christiansen. He's going to try his luck. Nice goal. Really get at the opposition here. Looking for teammates in the middle. He's gone for the volley. And nearly paid off. Yeah, really good technique there. Going for that kind of volley. You don't often get a first half as one-sided as this one. They've been very good, the team that are leading, of course. Peterson couldn't keep it. And here we've got a free kick given by the referee. And here's the shot. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper. Delivered into the box. Oh, that's good defending. It's brought the defenders a little bit of time, but not much of it because the position are going to hit them hard again if they can. Peterson. I'm amazed, Alan, what we've watched because you couldn't split them when you talked about the teams at the start. Very similar players, very similar stats going into the game but it's turned out to be one-sided well it has i mean the scoreline would suggest that in open play i don't think there's been much to choose between the two but it's the two sets of strikers that have been the difference the way the winning side at the moment has taken those chances he's got a chance to cross and they've got it away from the danger yoda it's coming up for freiburg allen well they're playing Borussia mönchengladbach in the next match in the Bundesliga and I think it could go either way he's got it away quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there Christensen had a crack. Well, he's had a go, and what a goal! Wow, it's not often you see somebody find the back of the net from that distance. That is stunning. Well, he defied the odds by taking the shot on, let alone scoring the goal. That's a great goal from long range. Well, I don't think he'll score many better than that in his entire career, Martin. He was a long, long way out. It flew into the net from a long, long way out.
don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And that's a turnover to the opposition. In towards the near post. Not trying to catch this cross, he's punched it away. Superb shimmy, shots on here. Threw everything behind that shot. Frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. a way through here, probing away. Defended well. That'll be a throw. That looked like a poor pass with a very good interception. Wants to chip the goalkeeper. Well, the goalkeeper actually saw this one coming and reached up and stopped the ball passing over his head into the net. And it's one of the hardest skills in the game, and I don't think that was the right choice for him. Peterson. Gives it away. Some options now for the pass. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. The shot's on! He's got the crowd off their seats with that one, it's close. Yeah, he's such a clever player. He usually does try and place it and not far off at all there. a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Uh, all credit to the team that's winning. Uh, and a goal! Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. So the corner about to be taken. He did see it all the way, Alan, but it's still a good save. Yeah, this is a good keeper and uh, he wouldn't be expecting to get beaten from there. Well, the goalkeeper wouldn't want to be beaten from there and he made sure he wasn't spectacularly. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but... Nevertheless, had to keep his eye on the ball. Corner swung in. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. And shoots! 
powerful drive, close enough to suggest. Have another go, sir. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. Peterson doing well to keep the ball. Support action, the possession's gone away. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. And that will be a throw. <laughs> Loses possession. That's a good spot by the defender. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Oh, he's got a challenge in now. Pedersen. Good chunk of added time here, three minutes. It's an excellent cross. Well, they've hammered home their advantage here, haven't they, numerically, and now they've got the goal that that superiority suggested they would get. Yeah, they've played with a lot of intelligence there to use the extra man, made the pitch wide, got every ward. Pretty straightforward, this match, and the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. Here is another angle on that goal. It is now an extraordinary lead, and you could say really game over. And it's come to an end here with the final whistle. I can't recall seeing such a one-sided match, Alan, for a long time. No, one team turned up, the other one stayed in the dressing room, I think. It was incredible to watch. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here won the match for his team. Ein 
Schon wieder sehr, sehr viele Tore. 5 zu 0 Heimsieg gegen Freiburg. Ich weiß nicht, wo die Tore immer herkommen in letzter Zeit. Keine Ahnung. Ähm, man könnte es jetzt darauf schieben, dass Freiburg nur zu zehnt war. Aber ich meine, wir haben auch wirklich nicht schlecht gespielt, muss man sagen. Was mich ein bisschen stört allerdings, ist die Tatsache, dass diese ganzen Animationen irgendwie nicht mehr ausgespielt werden. Vorm Anstoß, ich glaube, bei keinem Spiel der Saison wurde das vernünftig angezeigt. Jedes Mal wird die, äh, die Startaufstellung oder die, äh, ne, die Aufstellung der, ich glaube, der Gegner ist es, was zuletzt kommt, wird angezeigt. Und dann ist man sofort im Spiel. Dann geht sofort, äh, endet sofort die Cutscene und man ist im Anstoßkreis. Weiß ich nicht, warum das so ist. Es ist nicht so, als würde ich das abbrechen. Das passiert halt einfach. Genauso wie die Auswechslung von, äh, ich glaube, Christiansen war es. Auch da wurde nur ganz kurz diese Cutscene angespielt und dann war man sofort wieder im Spiel. Ich weiß nicht, warum das auf einmal so ist, finde ich ein bisschen nervig, denn ich versuche natürlich diese Sachen nach Möglichkeit äh, laufen zu lassen, damit das Ganze halt so ein bisschen realistischer wirkt, darum geht es mir ja in diesem Let's Play. Und das nervt mich so ein bisschen gerade, muss ich sagen. Ich hoffe, dass das im nächsten Spiel vielleicht dann endlich mal wieder funktioniert. In der Zweitligasaison hätte ich das Problem hin und wieder mal, aber wirklich sehr, sehr selten. Jetzt scheint es irgendwie Standard zu sein. Das stört mich ein bisschen, aber wie dem auch sei, ich kann es nicht ändern. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Spiel wieder gegen Hannover. Bis denn, Leute.